Hey everyone, Jessica Kubasi here. In the last tutorial for this image, I showed you guys how I retouched the skin for this model. Um, if you would like to see how I did that, I will be adding a link to this uh, to this video where you can watch it. I took her skin from this to this. And again, it's going to be um, in my description or on this video so you can watch how I did that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the editing and coloring, which is my favorite part. So the first thing that I would normally do is add some highlights to her face. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and then name it highlights and make another layer underneath that folder. I'm just going to make sure that my main color is white right now and I'm going to put my layer from normal to soft light. Soft light is a really good layer for this because it's really subtle. Oh crap, change the hard light. Okay. Yeah, hard light is like, oh my god, please love me, and then soft light, yeah. I don't really use hard light all that much because it's too it's too harsh, so. Again, white, you're using a white foreground color, and the brush that I'm using, 0% hardness, and then the size is like 125. Just make sure it's small. I mean, you don't want to use a large brush for this. So, what we're going to do is like literally just paint over her face. Like, over the lightest parts of her face, you're just going to make them lighter. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put the opacity at 100, but I'll show you guys that, what I'm going to do with that. I just want to show you guys, like, kind of like a diagram. So nose area, we got the forehead, just going to color that in. God, she's looking like Kim Kardashian now, you know how she does her makeup. I don't even know why, girl, I don't even know why girls do that, like, does it even look like you? Like, we know you don't look like that. Okay, so, <clears throat> just going to pop out the highlights to her face and now she looks kind of, yeah pretty much like you know the girls on Instagram so what we're gonna do is lower the opacity to this very subtle so I want to keep it like 13% so as you can see we just very slightly popped out some highlights and then I'm gonna actually name this boy and then I'm gonna make a new layer and then I'm just going to write black on here. Now you're going to switch to your black color. Same thing, normal to soft light. And same thing, but you can change the opacity now. You can just lower it to about like 27%. Actually, that's too much. Okay, like 14. So slightly going over the darker areas of her face. You don't want too much. I mean, yeah. Just not gonna look great. She's not gonna look like herself. We're just doing this to slightly enhance, and if it looks too much, then I'll just get rid of it. But again, just showing you guys like a technique that you can use. Okay. And we can do the lips too. Oh, I forgot the lips for the lighter part, so I'm just gonna enhance the bottom of her lip and then go back to the white layer and just add like that streak right there. And also with the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of white. Opacity is gonna be around 11% and just go in the corner of her eye. And what the hell, just go over her whole eye. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Very subtle, there we go. I'm gonna go back to the black, I just wanna add a little bit more. I mean, show, I'm showing you guys exactly what I would do. So. Okay. There we go. And now I'm gonna show you guys before and after with the highlights. I think the black, she's looking a bit like Kim, so let me just turn that down. There we go. Again, very subtle. So I'm going to actually go into the color, and I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. I love curves. Okay. So we're going to make sure this is like a light... Just a very, I want to do this a very simple portrait. We're on RGB right now, and that controls a lot of um, the aspects of the 
um, brightness and contrast of the photo. So I don't want to play with that too much. But if you do want, I always say this in my other videos, this is very important. If you want a more vintage photo, just pull that bottom part up. If not, you can just bring it down. So I actually like it right in the middle. And you can add a little bit more depth to your photo with this. It's very easy to use. And if you don't like the whites, you can just take them down. Kind of like that. There we go. Just using that one curves layer, look at the huge difference that made. Now let's see what else I can do to this. Selective color, again one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and go to light yellow because it controls a lot. Now depending on you know what kind of tone you want for the picture, you can just erase all the yellows and have it like a nice, I don't even know if I could describe this, it's like a red, red green yellow, I mean red green white-ish kind of photo. Or you can make it more vibrant. So it just kind of depends on you know, the tone that you want. That looks kind of cool. And again, using just one layer, one section of the selective color layer does all that. It's pretty cool. And I went to neutrals, just playing around here. I mean, I'll just do this all day. I just go back and forth with the layers. I think it's really important for you to learn exactly what um, color does what. So, I love magenta. I love magenta. I like to use this a lot for my pictures, actually. I would just look like higher the magenta. Okay, another thing I want to do is go to hue saturation. I just want to lower the saturation just a tiny bit. And what you can do, a trick that a lot of photographers use is they lower the saturation completely and then they go to soft light. And it kind of brings out the picture a little more. So I can, I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to completely desaturate. I'm not completely, but slightly desaturate it. And then I want to add a gradient to this photo. And I'm going to go from linear to radial. What, right there? I mean, the sun was not out at all that day, so it is now. <laughs> so if the sun's not out, it's okay. You got Photoshop. <laughs> okay. And you can make this um, a yellow color. You have to double click to be able to move it around. I'm sorry, I sometimes I just click on stuff and do it without realizing I'm trying to teach people how to do it. So um, I go from normal to overlay sometimes. It kind of gives it like a nice color. It adds a little bit of color to that. And I'm just going to duplicate this layer and then add it to this side. Kind of like brightens up the photo, it gives it a little bit more life, I think. And another thing that I also like to do is I go to solid color and then I go to like a yellowish color. Or like a, almost like a nude color even. Yeah, like this. I go from normal to color. And then I lower the opacity just a tiny bit. I keep it to like 3%. And it kind of like gives it like a nice, not like completely peachy look, but just a nice look, I think. And you're probably like, I can't even notice it, Jessica. But I swear I'm not crazy. So here's before and after. Again, just a couple simple layers. The last thing I'm going to do is, let's see. I mean, I really could do anything. I'll do another curves layer. I think I could add a little bit more color to this. It's a little difficult when I don't have, you know, a plan. I didn't really plan out this picture. I just usually just 
this is how I usually just work so I'm like hey I'll just show you guys how I'm doing it so I'm trying my best to get a really nice result for, to show you guys And I'm just switching through the blue and the red layer right now. I don't really use green that much, honestly. I'm just going to lower this. Opacity. I think that gave it a little bit of life. So that's why you got to be, I mean, you got to be careful with uh, saturate, desaturating the photo because, yeah. I'm going to hire this. Okay. So I actually really like the outcome of this. Again, only took me a couple of minutes. I mean, it's probably like 20 minutes that I spent on this and I think I spent five minutes but really very simple stuff and layers. I only used a couple. I used a couple curves layers, one selective color and a color fill. You can get a little bit crazier with this if you want. I want to add just one more. I just keep adding. I just need to, I, I have a problem with this. I just need to stop. Okay, I'm gonna go to overlay with this. Just give it like a tiny bit of color. Just a little bit of life. You know what I mean? Looks like it's dying out there. Okay. And I think that's it. I mean for the sake of the tutorial I want to keep it a little bit short but I'm going to show you guys before and after. That is before and that is after. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. I hope I was not too long. Thank you guys so much for watching and request anything you guys would like.